In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install Olama and a web UI, an interface that lets you interact with LLMs using Docker. There are already quite a few videos on how to install Olama on YouTube, but I couldn't find a good one and a short one explaining how to uh, set this up with Docker. So let's get started and we'll keep it short and easy. First, we need to install Docker and you can find the steps to install Docker at this link. As always, I'll leave all the links and the commands in the description box. Then we need to install the next command. Hit Y whenever you get a prompt. That's it, Docker is installed. And you can verify that with the command docker ps. Perfect. Now we need to install olama as a docker container. And for that we can use this olama slash olama image. And here we have the command to set it up. But you can see that we are mounting a volume. So this volume is where all the language models will be stored. So I recommend you to create a dedicated volume and then mount it so that you don't lose any data when the server is restarted. You can create a volume with the command docker volume create. That's it, Olama data volume is created. Now let's run this command. To quickly explain this command, we are running this image to create a container in hyphen D means in detached mode so that the terminal is freed up. And hyphen V flag is to mount a volume and we need to mount Olama underscore data, the volume that we just created to this path in the container. And then we do a port forwarding. So Olama by default runs on 11.434 port. And you can see that it looks uh, visually similar to Llama. So that could be the reason why this port is selected. So we map the same port to the host and then we can provide a name to this container. We'll just put it as Olama. If we hit enter, the installation should begin and in a few seconds it should be complete. That's it. Olama is installed as a container and you can verify that with the command docker ps. Perfect. It's running. You can also go to the browser and open 11.434 port and you will see a message that Olama is running indicating that the setup is complete. Now we need to install a large language model. So to install a large language model, go to Olama and under models, you will find different models. Let's install the latest one 3.2 and it offers two versions, uh, the smaller 1 billion parameter model and the bigger 3 billion parameter model. We'll install the smaller one. Uh, just to quickly explain the difference between small models and large models, small models tend to provide a faster response and they also consume less resources, but you cannot, they don't support large context window. By context window, I mean the size of the prompt you can enter to get a response. Uh, and with the large language models, they tend to be more accurate, but they also take up more resources and they tend to be a bit slower. So let's try with a smaller model, which is a one parameter, one billion parameter model. And in order to install this, we need to run this command inside the Olama container. So let's just copy that. To run a command inside the Olama container, you need to prefix your commands with the command sudo docker exec Olama. So with this prefix, all the commands will be executed inside the Olama container. So let's paste this command and hit enter. That should download the language model and run. That's it, the language model is installed and you can verify with the command Olama ps. And you can see that the latch language model is running. You can verify this by making an API call, a post request to the API generate path. And we can specify this body, specify the model, which is a 1 billion parameter model. And the prompt is where you can ask a question and stream is false so that you get response in one shot. And if you hit send, you can see that it took 20 seconds to get the response. And this is the response. So this is how you can integrate AI within your application. So you can make an API call to this path and use the response to may take some action within your application. Now that Olama is set up and the latch language model is running, let's look at how to install the web UI. So open web UI is, a, is an open source uh, chat GPT like interface for your Olama models. So if you go to docs, you will find the command to install it. We already have Olama running on the same server. So we can run this command to install open web UI. Just to quickly explain this command, we are running it in detached mode so that it frees up the terminal and we are doing a port mapping to run it on port 3000. That's it. After a few seconds, the web UI is installed. If you go to the browser and open port 3000, you will be greeted with this interface and 
when you run it for the first time you need to hit sign up and create a new account i am creating a simple admin account and you can give any vague email account and when you hit create account it will log you in by default and you will be greeted with this chat gpt like interface and on the top left corner you can select the language model and you can see that we can find the 1 billion parameter model that we just installed and if you hit set as default it will reset it as default so that you don't have you will not be prompted again and again and let's ask a simple question how tall is mount everest and it takes a few seconds for to generate response and this is how it works again if you hit this hamburger menu you will see the chat history on the top left corner just like how chat gpt does if you want to remove an existing model you can do it with the command olama remove rm stands for remove and the language model if you hit enter you can see that it's deleted we go back to the web ui hit refresh you will see that the model is no longer available so this is how you can add a new llm or delete an existing llm depending on your preference that's it for this video i want to keep it short this is how we can quickly install olama and web ui using docker as always leave your suggestions in the comment section and i'll talk to you in the next one bye